New tonight, the Madison Plan Commission has voted to leave Edgewood's master plan in place. So that essentially upholds the agreement that prohibits the college and high school from hosting nighttime sporting events at its field. This paves the way now for a full council vote. It was upheld on a hand vote. A city attorney says even though the master plan was upheld tonight, the city council still has the final say. To find that the only way to protect the public welfare in this district, in this neighborhood, is to require a master plan that the city did not initially require and still doesn't require in any other district, I think I struggle with that. The master plan established a legal framework for future negotiations among the three Edgewood institutions and the two adjacent neighborhoods, with a 10-year time frame to give certainty to all parties so everyone could plan their lives around what they could reasonably expect to happen. Now, there's also still pending legal action in the case. Edgewood filed a religious discrimination suit against the city back in August, arguing it is the only high school and college in Madison that is not allowed to host night games. If the master plan were to stay in place, that legal suit will likely move forward. And in a statement tonight, Michael Elliott, president of Edgewood High School, writes, in part, quote, from the start, Edgewood has simply asked for fair and equitable treatment for our student-athletes. We look forward to the full council vote on January 7th.